morning, everybody, or good day. <laughs> um, my name is Susan LaCroix, and I'm a demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And I wanted to do a little instructional video on background stamps today. I actually had a request from one of my stamping friends who asked me to, um, to show how to best use background stamps. So, um, on page 164 and 165 of the annual catalog, you'll see our selection of background stamps. And they're really, uh, there's a versatile uh, set of designs on these, and there's just so much you can do with them. So, let me show you what we can do with them. All right, so first I'm going to show you basically how I stamp with a background stamp. So I'm going to show you using brush strokes. And this is kind of fun because you can either just do one color or you can take markers and you can color you know, the individual stripes so that you have a different look. You can stamp it, stamp it on your paper, and then re-ink it and stamp it again and you'll get another look. So um, a pretty versatile stamp set. But what I'm, what I'm going to show you is how I tend to do this. So I'm going to use some Dapper Denim ink. And um, I find it easier to lay my stamp, um, stamp side up and so just kind of tap my ink pad over the whole thing and then when I'm done I'm going to lay my paper right on the stamp itself and then bring my grid paper over it kind of keeps ink off your hands a little bit but if you apply some even pressure and lift this up you'll have your piece of cardstock uh, with the, the denim ink. So what I did is I, um, let me show you the project I did with this one. So I used some real red, well, it would help if I didn't have it upside down, wouldn't it? Um, so I took a piece of real red cardstock as my base. I trimmed down my um, stripes and then added a little square of Whisper White and then took one of our quilted um, embellishments from the holiday catalog and made a star. So this is a, a real good card for a military or um, to thank our veterans. Uh, someone's born on the 4th of July or Memorial Day. And this is a nice, quick, easy card. So that is the basics of using um, a background stamp. Now let me move on to some different techniques. So um, you can do um, some kissing with it. So this is our Dahlia background stamp set. Again, there's lots of versatility, lots of things you can do with this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some sweet sugar plum ink. Again, I'm going to just tap it all over. There are a couple different ways you can um, do kissing, but this is kind of how I like to do it. So you want a solid, um, a solid stamp. So I am using um, watercolor wings. So this is the solid larger butterfly and I'm simply going to lay this on here or kiss it and then bring my white cardstock over and then go ahead and stamp it. And then you'll get an image that looks like this. So what you want to do, if you're doing multiples of these, you want to clean your stamp every time. Otherwise, some of the residual pattern will be on there. So um, that's the best way to do that. And then just to complete the butterfly, I'm taking some rich razzleberry and tapping to get some ink in here. And I'm going to try to line this up. Of course, I'm on camera, so it's going to be a little difficult. But let's do what we can here. Okay. There we go, not too bad, huh? I'll show you the finished project for that one. I used the Rich Razzleberry as a card base, cut it down and made it a different size, matted it with some sweet sugar plum, stamped a little just for you, stamped the body and the antenna up there. Just a real quick, sweet little card. All right, moving on. We're going to do um, a collage card, and this is one of my favorite techniques to do. And so we're going to use the sheet music background stamp. It looks like this. No, nope, no, I had it right this time. There we go. All right, so this is a fun one to do a lot of different things with. So I'm going to take my cake crumb, crumb cake ink, and again, I'm going to apply it 
stamp side up. And this time I don't necessarily want an even um, image showing. So I'm just going to kind of kind of bounce this around on there just a little bit. Oops, I need this still. And then again, I'm going to lay my cardstock on top of this, bring my grid paper over, and rub it. And then you're going to get um, just kind of a faded look of um, sheet music. So I hope you can see that okay on camera. And this is kind of the base of our collage card. So then what I did is I took some flowers. And when I'm making a collage card, I always use my bigger image first. So um, I'm going to take my bigger flower and just stamp it around a little bit. One of the things I like about doing collage cards is that they all look different. So I'll take my next biggest image, uh, another flower, and I'll just stamp some images here. Coming off the paper too. Okay. Um, then I'm going to take my soft suede ink. And I'm going to stamp some centers of the bigger flowers. So let me get some of these on here. And we'll take some of our leaves and do some stamping off. You get, kind of get the idea, I'm sure. Okay. And then we'll take another one. And do full strength on here. So all I'm doing is adding images and layers. Not the best stamping technique in the world, but you're, you're getting the idea. And then um, let me show you the finished card here. So what I did was I, after I finished my background, I set it aside, and I, on another piece of scrap, I um, made the tag for you. And again, some of the background um, in this flower. And I edged them both with a sponge and... Um, um, soft suede and added some pearls, some lace trim, and some linen thread. Okay, so that's that card using a background stamp as a layer for the collage. All right, so I need my soft suede for this next one, and I need my sponges. Let me just bear with me a minute while I kind of clean up and set up this next one. We're going to actually use two background stamps for this one. We're going to do use the marbled one and we're going to use the burlap so we're going to use both of these so I'm going to set this aside for one minute and just work right now with this one and um, I'm I've chosen berry burst soft sky lemon lime twist and Flirty Flamingo. This reminded me of um, making coloring eggs for Easter. All right, let me get some of this stuff out of the way. Grab some sponges. All right, so uh, it doesn't matter which color you start with, but you're, I'm just going to sponge some ink. And it doesn't matter where on here, it's just kind of random. And then I'm going to put some lemon lime twist. Okay, then I'm going to take some soft sky and put some of this on here. It's a little hard sometimes to see where you've already inked, but that kind of gives it a fun look too. All right, let's see here. And I think I need one more color. Uh, what am I missing here? Dirty Flamingo. All right, let's see it. Okay, you're going to get the idea when you see what I'm doing. Okay, so there we go. Again, let me get these out of the way. I'm going to lay this down. Make a side of the cross and say Hail Mary. Okay. Um, my other one was better, so you'll get the idea of what I'm going to do. So now you can kind of see this rainbow effect on here. 
and I'm going to set that aside for a moment and bring in my burlap and my soft suede ink piece of crumb cake same thing I'm going to just ink up my burlap lay my crumb cake cards back over here and we have this okay so now that this stamping is done what I did is I created this card with the elements using this so I took this over to my Big Shot and got my oval dies out and used some of them um, and um, die cut out ovals cut a few of them in half colored them with Wink of Stella um, I took my burlap I did this also die cut this out with an oval and then I just kind of cut the basket cut a little edge cut out the handle and put it on um, took some lemon lime twist cardstock scrap and my paper snips and made grass tied a little lemon lime twist ombre bow over here used um, teeny tiny wishes for the happy Easter and the word punch and created this little Easter basket isn't that cute so all that with background stamps who would have thought right huh. Well, thank you so much for watching today. Let me pull out the projects again so you can get one more gander at them. I hope you have fun with them. Well, I'm not sure where my other ones went. Okay, well, here's two of them. Oh, here they are. <laughs> so fun with background stamps. That's what I should have called this. Fun with background stamps. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to help you. Otherwise, happy stamping.